a second. If you guys remember the saga with my printer, when we moved, um, it wasn't working. The roller was broken. And so I ordered that exact same printer and everything was working perfectly fine for, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks to a month. And then it stopped connecting. It's a wireless one, right? And it just stopped connecting. I had to order a replacement because, you know, when something's wrong with a new item you just bought, you have to exchange it. And I had to wait for that replacement to come in because it didn't have any in stock. And you guys know without a printer, I can't print labels. That's absolute good news, especially because per a few requests, I put up my uh, two different types of protection bracelets on my website. These are very different from pre-orders. These, I'm only doing 25 of each and they're not pre-orders. So by the end of November, now that I've got my printer, right, all of these orders, everything that you've ordered should be going out. But those are different. Pre-orders, the way I do it is I don't put up an exact number. I kind of let it run for a bit, usually. And then after a certain amount of time, I close off the orders and then I go, okay, well, 240 of that came through. 167, you see what I'm saying? Um, where with this, it's not, I'm not doing that. I'm only doing a certain hand number. I had to order the beads already too because I get nervous that they'll take too long. So the there's an evil eye one on there and a black obsidian for psychic protection. Um, I've sold already half of each. So I think I sold 12 of each bracelet already. If you have outstanding orders with me from previous orders, uh, when that bracelet's ready by the end of this month, everything's shipping all in one package or one box. Everything. Everything outstanding. I'm praying that I am did the best thing by going with the same printer um as opposed to getting refunded and buying a whole different brand i was like oh my god so i'm crossing my fingers like this and hoping and praying that i don't experience any other issues if you guys have one of those canon pixmas let me know if you guys like it if you have one of those printers my other printer before wasn't a canon pixma so i'm a little nervous about that because already i haven't experienced you know the best with it all right, let's go. I've already eaten a little bit. You guys know I usually don't like to, but it's quite late at night. Oh shit, shooting star. Make a wish manifest and believe. Holy shit, I just got the chills. I hear it again. There's a possibility. Something that you thought was impossible becomes manifested. And, and it's not something that like you wouldn't be all like jumping for joy over, right? Like this would be something you'd be like, oh my God, oh my God. Like you would freak out. You would, you would like text the group chat, you know what I mean? It feels big, it feels really important and it feels like magical. Like you, you're gonna wanna te text the, the group chat for something like this. It does feel related to finances and career for some of you. And for some of you, it feels like money coming in. Now, funnily enough, is that even a word? I always get confused when I think about funnily. I feel like I haven't read that, that word to, uh, enough times to have it ingrained in my head. You know, some words you go, seen it a zillion times I know it's what it is every time I come across the word funnily I have seven years here on YouTube I always say the same thing right I always say you guys is that a word um but oddly let's use that word enough <sighs> this actually feels like well bad money it feels like some of you it's like popping the question getting engaged oh god the way they say it too i got the chills oh god i, I heard god grants this wish 
Now again, God, universe, higher power, okay? Whatever is your muggle term for your higher power. God slash universe grants this wish. It does tie into the live I did earlier on Instagram, XI underscore Missy underscore XI, where one of the cards we got from the tea leaf tarot was called a gift. And I forget what other cards we had, but it's crazy in that reading. Um, I kept feeling Jesus energy because, you know, a lot of these religious people want to try and come at us and talk to us about, well, that's not what the Bible says we should do. Well, also, you shouldn't be a cunt face, too, because that's not what Jesus would want you to do. So, I mean, if you think about what's in the Bible per Jesus, okay, um, Jesus's way of doing things, it wasn't to be an evil, hatred, conniving, can't trust you human being evil or malicious or hate, hate, hate like a like racist or you know what I'm saying mm, nah I could be a different version maybe the one you read is that way but no no from what I remember reading mm -mm. but Jesus energy came up real heavy especially for some reason I kept seeing when he was birthed like the like the like, was it the star of Bethlehem star of Bethlehem or the Heim, Bethel Heim, Bethel Hum. <sighs> That's what I saw. I was like, was Jesus a Capricorn, right? When he was infant newborn baby Jesus, not resurrection of Jesus. Infant baby newborn Jesus, see a Capricorn, because I keep thinking about the day he's born. You know, they tend to celebrate it being December 25th. We know that most religious holidays are pagan holidays originally. They're originally pagan holidays, actually. Um... Sorry to burst your bubble. Sorry. But it's true. This is a fact and not fiction and not propaganda. Uh, something about Christmas, Jesus. And then the three wise men came out actually in the Edgar Allan Poe deck, which I will be using again since Edgar made himself known. Um, since I moved in here, I couldn't find Edgar forever. And then the other night I found him in the third bedroom in a box that I had already felt like I searched and I guess I didn't. Search it good enough or I just missed it all together. A wish is coming true, a wish that God grants. Um, earlier from this deck, we also got the rainbow, which is God's promise. Oh, it's gonna be a lot of unhappy people because imagine you're not living the way that you're supposed to per what these higher vibrations like God and Jesus wanted you to do. Imagine you're not doing that. Funny too, because in the tea leaf oracle, we got the card apple. And it's just so funny because I was like, what's the one thing that, that he told them they couldn't do? He said, don't eat the apple, okay? Don't do it. I told Eve this, because if you know if it was Lilith, she would have given him the finger. Girl, bye. You know, Lilith was Jesus, I mean, excuse me, was um, Adam's first wife, honey. Okay, Lilith was, but she said, I need to go tell me what the fuck to do. But he told her, don't do it. And she did it. And he was not very happy. So it's really crazy because the rainbow card earlier, that's from this particular deck, my midnight hour, which talks about God's promise, good luck, you know, real auspicious energy. It definitely feels like God's promise, all right. definitely feels like God's promise and God is not very happy with some people love thy neighbor love thy enemy right Jesus sat with the sinners he wouldn't want people to be segregated or treated terribly or um nasty portation you know I mean Jesus was like technically like a re refugee but you know I don't know it's just what I remember reading from the bible you know, was, I swear he didn't have his paperwork with him or anything like that or whatever. I don't know. But then again, you will argue it was back in the day. So, yeah, I'll give you that. Um, you have the white feather, which is freedom, strength, and divinity. Oh, it's divine, all right. It, it, it almost looks like a feather of an angel, doesn't it? You know what's really weird too? I'm sorry, it's one of these kind of readings. 
we, people like me, right? Healers, spiritual people, people that don't go to church every Sunday or read the Bible every Tuesday at Bible study. And, you know, we are more open to spirituality and witchiness and things like that. They tend to call, call witch, witch, you're a witch. When actually we embody the Jesus energy mm, quite a bit. Um, and not only that, we are open to stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's like, it doesn't mean that I don't believe anything in the Bible. There are some things that really resonate and I go, oh my God, wow, that feels so fucking like, oof, like you get the chicken skin, right? In Hawaii, we say chickens get the chills from it. And some things I read and I go, Mer. it's funny how a lot of us have sort of circled back into, um, I don't know, because we channel it, right? So we've been channeling a lot of religious things. Um, I have crosses all over my home, angels, right? I've always loved them. I have Buddhas everywhere, right? So again, I'm more spiritual, not religious. But there's a thing, there's like a thing happening where you call it Christ consciousness, right? Which is the other word for like an awakening. And so it's just weird how people like us really understand and get what Jesus was trying to accomplish. You know what I mean? And that's not through perpetuating hate. Matter of fact, if we saw it, we'd be like, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. What the fuck is this shit? You don't speak to people like that. You're not better than thou. You know, it's just, there's something about it, okay? And I talked about this on my live that it felt like the higher powers, God, universe, whatever you want to call it, the powers appear to be that we can't see, right, okay? Feels like they're pissed off. But again, you're, you're gonna argue, right? You're gonna say, no, they're not, they're pissed off at you, Missy. No, you're right. They would be mad at me that I stand for peace and love and unity and for not to have all this like slander and misogynistic behavior or women are property and all those things I'm against. You're right. No, you're absolutely correct. That makes absolute sense. No, you're correct. Sure. Bitch, shut up. I mean, I almost just feel like, you know what, God, it's 2024, Jesus, come on. Because he keeps saying, watch when Jesus comes. Watch when Jesus comes. Oh, that's how you know they're not in tune with some shit because Jesus has already been here. We said this for years. Jesus' energy has already been here. What the fuck are you talking about when he comes? That's how we know you're not tapped into shit. Most definitely not that energy. They will make themselves known. Yes. That, I feel like, is coming very very, very soon. But, the, but that energy has already been here watching your every move, boo-boo. Hearing the words come out your mouth, the hate you spew, or the love you spew, right? I mean, it's whatever it is. How understanding and empathetic you are, how kind, how thoughtful how open-minded, empowered, how you, how you wish to empower others, or you don't. Or you wish to be selfish and only harbor all of that for self. Were you brave and courageous in this time of conflict? Were you quiet and silent? What side did you choose? You know, it's like all of these crazy factors that I feel like and I did equate it to Mother Nature, that that's also a powerful force. All I know is uh, you motherfuckers pissed somebody off. I told you in a couple of the readings prior, I felt like it was Hecate. X marks the spot. Meeting point, faded encounter spot on. Wow. You're going to meet somebody. <laughs> and I feel like that's more than one type of thing. Romantic? Sure. Yeah. Um... They call Mother Nature, Mother Nature, because it's a feminine energy. Same thing like ocean, right? Bodies of water, they have a feminine energy to them. Feminine. The moon's feminine. I mean, the sun masculine, we'll give them that. Um, but, you know, we have both masculine and feminine within us, right? But those energies are feminine. I'm sorry, I can't help but think about this, but you remember all the things like Nostradamus predicted? I mean, 
mean, they were very hard to interpret for some, right? Because, I mean, the way they spoke back then was, like, weird, the way we speak now. But, it's just, you know, obviously because the language has changed. So, it's almost riddly. I don't know. This is what I feel. I, feel. I just feel like something's coming. And it's not in the form of muggle form, practical 3D. I just don't feel that. I don't feel that. I don't. But clearly we can see there's some type of an encounter. It doesn't feel muggle 3D though. Lit match and lightning. So lit match talks about spark creation and new beginning and lightning talks about sudden and unexpected or an announcement. I think it will be very sudden. I guess I just got the chills. I think there's gonna be some kind of a sudden announcement. And, and you know, that scares me a little bit. And I will tell you this truthfully. Because I can't yet tell if I feel like that's something super amazing. Um, I'll give you an example. Quite a few years ago when I lived at the apartment on the beach, Hawaii had that massive crazy scare where we all got the alert go off on our phone of the ballistic missile threat. And it was actually an accident. Oh, there's a little bit of controversy about that. Um... But for maybe 15 minutes, we were looking at our phones, hearing the emergency sirens go off and saying, this is not a drill, right? Ballistic missile threat, this is not a drill. And I can still remember that feeling of just, it happened suddenly out of the blue. I think it was like a Saturday, it was a Saturday or Sunday morning. It was the weekend. I just dropped Jordan off at a farmer's market. And I remember coming back home and like literally coming back home. And I think I was washing dishes or making coffee or something. And it went off on my phone and I immediately dropped everything, ran out the door to go back to go um, pick her up. But you, you see, I don't know. See, we're now in a very susceptible place because of who the majority of people voted for. Makes us vulnerable. I just also feel like, and I'm not saying, oh my God, that's what's going to happen. But I mean, it is a reality that we face every day. That's why you make allies. You know what I mean? It's just a part of life, y'all. You know? It's always war. It's terrible. It's horrible, but there is. And I don't know what it is. I, I don't know, but that lightning striking, I heard it in my head that like, bleh, 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 whether it's like an alarm or whether it's like, um, ooh, like we have that fucking kind of sirens. Anytime we have um, tsunami or hurricane um, alerts, you know, it has that like siren sound. Um, I was talking today earlier about like the tornadoes, how tornadoes have that like creepy sound. You can actually like hear it. It has like a... Oh my God, I've seen so many things about tornadoes and they always give me the chills and it has like a sound to it. I don't know what this is, <laughs> but your motherfuckers unleash something. And what? I don't know. So it's too late now to come to us and try and pound the pavement with them. Well, tell us what it is. Fuck no, this ain't your coven no more. No. Pause, rest, time off, and relax, and past life. Instant connection, unfinished business, soul recognition. You also have bottom of the deck, the chandelier, luxury, glamour, and wealth. Okay, so it sounds like a lot of abundance being manifested here. But let's go back to the past life, instant connection, unfinished business, soul recognition. For some of you, that's exactly what's popping off. And if you watch the reading I just previously put up, right? It's, it's talking about the, the awakening of the emperors, the gods of war. Okay, so you see this is a new beginning, but that's because it's the end, right? The end is just the beginning. The end is just the beginning. So we had what felt like a huge ending and a disappointment, but tell me why a lot of us don't feel, like we feel sad and heartbroken about it, but something inside most of us is going, hmm. Hmm. right? And all day today, I heard in my head, um, it's a beautiful morning. Ah, you know that song? All day. And it's like, I mean, morning is when the sun rises. Truth, healing, success. But truth? It's 
It's also divine masculine energy out of the sun, divine. A divine masculine isn't someone who thinks women are less than or who would mm, support hate. He would be a leader, someone who people can look up to and trust. They would be empathetic and kind, right? They would be morally straight in that sense. You know what I mean? Where like their character, they have a good character. This doesn't mean that they live a perfect life. No, none of us do. We've all fucked up. But there's some point in time where this divine masculines changed, awakened. I think they've been silent watching. And that has been confirmed in my last reading. That rest and time off, that pause, that's what it feels like. It feels like that sort of, that, that, it's like the one more sleep. You know that kind of a feeling? The eve of, and tomorrow's 11-11 too, so I don't know. I know, it's a lot of energy, guys. It's a lot of energy. It's why these have been running longer. Listen, you guys want me to just shuffle and talk about soulmates and twin flames and love and it doesn't work like that. Because I read energy. You want that kind of generic reading? You got to go to habitual only reads tarot cards. You don't get that here. This is tuning into what is. Period. You have the Page of Swords. Could be a younger air sign here, but it is. Um, it's also a secret admirer, but I don't get that vibe. I get the vibe as a younger air sign for some of you. Six of Cups, too. That's past life twice. There could be something that happened in the past with somebody. That air sign could be someone from the past. But here we have the page, excuse me, the temperance card, right? That's the card of Sagittarius. And in this card, it's a gorgeous angel. And this angel is, is sort of doing this with two different cups, cups. It's tempering two extremes. So it's like divine hands on. You see what I mean? Divine hands on intervention. Because we already know they fucking pissed off all the dark divine feminines. And you guys awoke fucking Hikate. And that is. I mean, they're going to call us crazy and say you guys are fucking nuts. You guys are fucking... Okay. That's why you guys always run to us when you need something to. Tell me about this and tell me about that. But we're not crazy then though, right? Only crazy when it fits your agenda and what you want to believe. Okay. Um. That feels like divine hands-on intervention. Whether it be angelic or not, I don't know, I can't tell. It's like a higher frequency. It's definitely not muggle. It's not human. You know what I mean? It feels ancient too. That's ancient. Oh, it's got the chills. It's like ancient. Oh, it's like you're talking ancient. Page of Pentacles, that could be a younger earth sign for some of you, but that's, that sounds like news or communication. News or communication. There's a Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords came out in my last reading when I said the um, gods of war are coming, right? That the emperors are awakening. See how she's sitting? This is the climate right now. Many women are sitting on their thrones with their swords up because now we are susceptible. We are on the attack. I find it hysterical, but also ignorant when people say, what rights have been taken away from you? Who's going to tell them? Who's going to tell them? And then what other rights will be on the chopping block in the future? I can name quite a few. I, who's going to tell them? But you know what the craziest thing I find is, which is why I don't argue with these people, is because you can have actual facts and show them literal, literal shit that are like existing, let's say tax laws right now or um, tax codes or just, you know, any kind of policies that a particular person put into place. You can literally tell them this and show them this information and say, this person put this into effect. That's what's currently, what that's what we're currently under right now. 
this person's tax laws and tax policies and shit. This one, they go, that's untrue. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. You don't know what you're talking about. Because when I saw that, no, you don't even know what you're talking about. So how do you, how can you even have an intellectual conversation with people if they could never admit that they're ever wrong or that their information was miscorrect? Because they just in here believe absolutely fucking not, even when the truth is being told. That's scary. That's scary. Because no matter what the truth is, they will not see it or believe it. And that ha that's just beyond. That's beyond. You see, that's what we're working with here is that you could literally show them. He put this into place, which is, this is what's happening right now because it didn't expire yet. <laughs> They're still in effect. They'd be all, that's absolutely inaccurate. You can tell them, this is what happens if tariffs go into place. They'll say, that's inaccurate. China's going to pay for it. And, and there will be no cost to us. And it will help the economy because the consumer will pay less. You want to know what's even more hysterical is that they said right now, Google, one of the top three searches right now is how do tariffs work and what is a tariff? Right now. Because we tried to tell you how that worked. I'm a business owner. My decks come from China. Most of these bracelets come from China or out of country because financially and for quality wise of what I'm looking for, I would love to buy only in America, but I cannot because it won't make sense for me and for the person buying it. That's why things take a lot longer when I purchase things. And it's because then I can sell it to you at a much cheaper rate. If those things go into effect and my decks, let's say for example, have to come from out of country, specifically China. This means now it will cost more for me to bring these goods into the US, which means now if I have to pay more for that, am I gonna charge you the same price? Now let's look at an example of a clothing line, a department store. Foods. The most hysterical thing I found is saying we don't import very much food. Have you ever like looked at labels that are on vegetables and fruits at a grocery store? <gasps> you, you live in, some of you live in snowy, cold ass areas. You dead ass think that, that those motherfucking bananas was growing outside in your, at your local f fucking farmer's market, whatever. I, bitch, come on. This is hysterical, but you can't argue with them. You cannot argue with them because they hear one thing being said about it and they all repeat the same thing. And even if we sit here, we go, actually X percent of food are, are import, imported in, whether it's Mexico, right? It was, and that's absolutely inaccurate. Okay. Maybe the food places you shop at, every single item is local. And I know there are some places here, like if I go to a farmer's market here in Hawaii, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, the chances are most of that food's, you know, been grown here. But not when I go to the grocery store. There's something face down ass up here. We'll get to it in a second. But I, I still have to talk about her goddess of war. She's goddess of war. So it's like... If she's being put in a position, that's not a good position. And she's doing the work of the divine. You see what I'm saying? Don't you think the divine's going to come in to intervene? Is my point here? Help is on the way. But it feels like divine. I'm not even bullshitting to it. I just got the chills. I don't know what it is. Mother nature, higher power, is God himself going to come? Is Jesus going to walk? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I know the emperors are awakening. These are like, not loud, obnoxious, misogynistic, beta males. No, this would be alphas. <laughs> probably reincarnated of men from the past who have really like huge important places in history great leaders you know what I mean reincarnated um it's ascended master reincarnated or activated depending on how you want to look at it right motherfucker holy fuck 
same thing as the reading I just did before tonight. Bitch, here we fucking go. I have full body chills. I told you help is on the way. I fucking told you. That's coming in the form of physical, actual people, right? You know what I'm saying? But that's not all that's coming. You know why a lot of us are oddly calm in this second round, this second time around, I guess we should say? It's because you, you all didn't learn your lesson. God, that's like a tongue twister. You guys didn't learn your lesson the first time. Actually, many times, because COVID was a big test too. COVID was a big test too. And quite a bit of people feel bad. I just feel like it's repeat. To sort of test us how we are going to help save each other. You know what I mean? Because isn't that the point? Isn't that what Jesus would do? I think it's a big failed test. Not for all of us, clearly, of course. I mean, you know, not for all of us, but for some of you. And you can be mad at me and write your comments and announce your departure like this is a motherfucking airport. Bitch, nobody cares. I have my opinion and this is my own platform. I'm not on your platform and disagreeing with you there. Do the right thing and just click the fuck off. Why do you want to argue? Because even if I was to spit and drop facts, it would go over your head. I mean, half of you motherfuckers is Googling what a tariff is now after the fact. And still when they find out what it is, still when they find out what it is, they are convinced no one's going to raise their prices if they have to foot the bill. No, because I'm positive China is going to pay for it. I'll let you know firsthand how it looks if that goes into effect when I order decks from out of country and bracelets and products and things. I'll let you know firsthand. All of us business owners and big, huge corporations around the U.S. and the well, the U.S. because they're the ones going to be affected. We'll let you know. We'll let you'll be the first to know because prices will change. And this is why a lot of companies, including myself, have had to make executive decisions on whether we were going to stock up heavily now on items that come from out of country because we just don't know what this is good. I mean, you know, it's something like 60% if it's gonna come from China. Wasn't it like 60%? I could be wrong on that, but something insane. It's lower for other places, but <clears throat> they're very concerned about that. And prices will change. Imagine if I have to pay a 60% something for products that I bring in. Me, I'm, and versus a huge corporation. How in the living fuck do you think you as the buyer or the consumer wouldn't be affected by, this is economics 101. You know, now, now pretty soon they're going to start Googling shit like, um, how does the economy work? You know, scarcity versus, oh my lordy, versus, um, well, you can find out firsthand, actually. I would just hold off on that. Um, the emperor and the queen of swords, god and goddess of war. It's a spiritual war. But it's also a war of intellect, too. It is, and, and, and I, 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 I'm going to circle back around to this. We've never been so calm before because we think that people need to, they got to learn. And it's not for us to tell you like, oh my God, why did you do that? <gasps> it's like, I feel like we should wear buttons every day so that we can distinguish. So that in case foreigners, <laughs> Especially here in Hawaii, we have tons of them, right? We have a lot of tourist visitors. So they can see, I want one, honey, I want, I want one. I was not it. I was not it. Because they're all looking at us like. There's a reason that the poles around the world did not go to that side. There's a reason. And also... I don't know, I guess, I don't know. The election feels very something, I don't know. I don't know. But in any case, let's get your extended, shall we? 
Oh, I forgot to tell you, for those of you that are supposed to come to my witch's brew, if you already paid for your ticket, $88.88 and sent it to my PayPal, if you did not email me, you have to because I have to email you the Zoom link, okay? Please don't forget, if you did send your money, you have to email me, saltwaterheelstarrow at gmail.com. But we're going to talk about the rest of this in the extended. Um, as you guys can see, everyone around the world um, that is publicly speaking about this, those of us here in the U.S. that are if we're in public eye of any way, shape, or form, and we're being brave to say, hey, this is how I feel, we're taking hits in our views, numbers, you know, sales, whatever it may be. Um, and we know that. We know that, but I'm not here to be popular. I'm here to be purposeful. So again, Chapel Rose pre-orders on my website, click below this video, the word more, it's gonna bring up all my links, right? You wanna purchase the Evil Eye Bracelet or the Psychic Protection Black Obsidian. I think I only have 12 of each or 13 of each. I think I sold 12 of each. Like within five minutes that I put it up on my Instagram stories, literally, because they, they're the, these are the people who told me to do it. They were like, uh-uh, no fucking way, now. And in fact, right now, you see it. This is what it looks like, the evil eye one. I'm wearing it right now. This is the one I'm going to make. See how it has black onyx right here? And then I put like these little silver studs, and then it's going to be evil eye like this. And then the other one, the black obsidian, just all straight black obsidian beads, because that one's good for psychic protection and and we're gonna need that, right? It's a spiritual war, remember? So that's on my website. And then what else? I think that's it. If you wanna rent this video, click below this. If you wanna rent the extended, excuse me, click below this video, the word more. It's gonna bring up that first link. You're gonna click there, go to my website, go to the um, special love slash oracle readings, and then look. Yeah, extended reading, special love slash oracle readings. You can also look there, and I have the um, erotica tarot readings also there. And on the home page of my website, because I have one spot left for Sedona, um, please don't do this to me like people have done for the Hawaii one. Please do not wait until it is completely sold and booked to then beg me for a spot on it. Please don't do that. And also, please do not put in an application if you're not actually interested because the amount of people that have put in applications and have been approved and I've emailed have left me on red. Completely zero response, no communication, which was a huge waste of my time and yours. So please don't do that unless you are absolutely interested and you're ready to lock in your spot. So I have one spot left and as soon as that one spot is filled, we're done. Um, I don't, I'm not going to, I don't know if I want to do a waiting list, to be honest with you. I just feel like, Meh. I don't know, but that is, it was frustrating in itself that, you know, people don't seem to understand that there's a process to this and you're holding up the line for others. I could have locked this shit down quite a long time ago. Had I not have to weed through all these people that were like, yeah, I want to come. Here's my app. Let me know. I'm going to pay tomorrow. And then I've never heard from them again. So I, you know what I'm saying? Even just a courtesy email to say, Hey, I can't afford it now, or hey, I didn't realize I had to pay for it, or you know, fucking whatever, but to just leave me on red, then you guys wonder why I get so like frustrated, and then it's like all of these this energy goes to other things that I can't do other things. Anyways, let's get into your guys' extended, okay? Today is Sunday. It's probably Monday when you guys start watching this, depending where you are in the world. It's going to be 11-11. Um, it's going to be Veterans Day for most of us. Um, here's my veteran right here retired marine right here our papa buried at the veterans memorial proud fucking veteran um and he was filipino not white all right i'll see you guys in the extended love you guys bye